All right, a couple of uh, button right, checks no here. I feel like this is the only vine warmer we've seen today. Well, it's always good to go for it too, especially if you're, you know, been sitting in the back waiting for your next match. I or... guess, yeah. They have been on ice uh, being the last quarters match since we're playing everything on stream. <laughs> Let's go catch up. Good stuff, good stuff. Is that sound like base boosted to you? What's up? Did that like sound base boosted? <laughs> that kind of did a little it bit. It kind of did. That was weird. Just for a second. Just for a second. Alright, so we have Ken versus Ludwig. We aren't going to see the Terry from Nito anymore. Maybe at it, after game number one, but he at least wants to start strong with his Ken. <laughs> Ketchup just off the play back, tries to get the Mecha Koopa out, doesn't want to run right into Nito. As I say that, he immediately goes for the Koopa part, but he's going to make it work. Gets an up air off of it, but he's not able to connect into a second one. Nice, kind of caught up with the ailing like of the Mega Hooba. Yeah, there is a lot smart. of lag on that. Yeah, there is. The thing I'm more interested by is I that it did trigger the Mega Hooba. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, going, that's 40 frames of lag, right? It's, it's something like that. Yeah. It's like super long. It's almost a full second. Yeah. I mentioned, I, I know that Ketchup was talked about. That was like one of the things that made one of the shortcomings of Bowser Jr. I remember um, in Smash 4, it's like the same amount of lag, I think. But I was on one side of the stage, he was on the other, he dropped Mecha Koopa. I ran as coins, low run speed, jumped over and pinned him while he was still in lag and on the set for it. Like, it, it's so much lag. Yeah. Is my point. I do like the fact that this kind of also demonstrates Nito's ability, the fact that they have played together as well. Yeah. But it's also his understanding of like, okay, that has 40 frames of lag, I can just go up there for the Toxic. Nice, goes to the parry too, and that's really crucial because he, that was going to allow Ketchup to go to set up for the back air. Doesn't get the destroy you can to kill, but there's still so many damage. He catches the jump to ledge with a dare. It's such a big hurt box that Bowser Jr. has. Yeah. The whole Koopa card itself and Bowser Jr. is on top of it. I, and actually the trade with the Koopa card, but still so much in Nito's favor. And the crazy thing about the Koopalings too is they're very tall. Yeah. Well, the Koopaling isn't, but the cart is. Yeah, the cart pretty much, yeah, pretty much puts them pretty the tall. thing we have to talk about is that the cart and the Koopa are two separate entities. They take different amounts of damage. Yeah, that is very true. If the Koopaling does take damage, there's a lot more for Koopaling versus being in the cart itself. I think it's like 0.75 versus 0.125 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it takes less if you hit the cart, but extra if you take the, uh, the Koopaling itself. Right. Nice, that was a perfect opportunity to go for focus attack and it's almost that's gonna be right. stuck. Yeah, that's that's that'll be it. A three stock for Nito here. Ketchup kinda looking you know, not super hot right now. <laughs> he, he kinda got him on the landing of the focus attack too because he was Yeah. He jabbed the wrong way. Yeah. And he that did. kinda cost him the stock. He's just privileged. <laughs> Mario, in my opinion, Mario means are privileged. That's just me, man. I'm not trying to tell you guys uh, my affiliation to watch character I hate the most, but anyways, let's go right back into it. Um, okay, catch up with a change here, Dr. Mario, and Nito looks at him what? and he's like, you sure about this, man? Dude, Nito's bracket tonight has been so easy with all these people just not going the mains against him. I don't know why they're doing it, but hey, man, you live your, you pay that, you pay the entrance. I'm not going to tell you who to pick, man. I'm just going to tell you, uh, if you're not picking right, don't complain when you take the loss. Now, I know Ketchup told me he wanted to try some secondaries today, but I didn't expect this. I wonder his quarters, too. I wouldn't have expected it either. I mean, he did kind of get restocked, so it wasn't looking like the junior was doing the job. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how polished his uh, Dr. Mario is. Who was the Dr. Mario we had here? B7 Games, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, not very active anymore. I mean, I there's a reason, right? This is Dr. Mario, and I'm looking very active right now. Right now, Nito's just kind of running away with this game. I don't, there's not a whole lot to say I, about Ketchup's Dr. Mario. Yeah. I feel like, well, okay, so... It's really hard, too, because typically speaking, the Ryu and Ken do suffer to, uh, tomorrow in general, right? But Dr. Mario being... 
much Having slower, much not slower. the same combos. Yeah. Much slower, but in reverse, he also gets like much more kill power too as well. That's kind of the trade-off. Right? Yeah, I feel like not that many combos kill is definitely enough. Doc doesn't really need the extra kill power against the uh, Shotos. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Oh, no, he no. falls out of it and he gets the up smash anyways. Alright, catch up. I don't know, man. This, this is uh, this is what I like to call. Just, just, just wrap it up. Down tilt, nice. I, I like that he has a couple combos here. He goes to the down tilt the back end, but he still has to understand the one thing that Ryu does have is the bonus attack. Big damage here to 59. Corner carry all the way across it. Sets up the Hadouken to force out the shield play here. The parry. He immediately reacts with the down tilt to open to probably get Nido. All right, and that will be the set. Nido taking it convincingly with a six stock over catch up. 